What's up, dude? YouTube is home to some seriously wacky viral recipes. Today, we're gonna put one of these recipes to the test in my new series. We'll see about that. Now let's go! Today's recipe is coming from the channel Lekara Couché. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. The way that I think it's supposed to be said, I don't know if I can say. Mm -mm. And today, we're doing one of their most popular recipes. It's titled, I take the cheapest meat. I don't fry, I don't cook, I don't cook. Delicious. Two I don't cooks. She don't Smart. cook, she don't cook. Smart. If you reiterate it, you get the point across. Anyway, it looks good in the thumbnail. Let's see what it's about. As always, this is a blind reaction. We have not seen this before. Mm -mm. She don't cook. Wait, how do we eat it then? Okay, big old pork belly. Got it. Wow. I personally love cooking a whole pork belly. It's very fun, very satisfying. It is one of the cheapest meats you can buy. Hers is kind of weirdly like half skin, half skin off. It's really actually hard for me to find skin on pork bellies where I live. Probably won't be able to get one with the skin on, but that's okay. Okay, make some big scores. Yep, love squares. Big squares. Big squares. Big square guy. Big squares. And I have tea loaf of sauce, tea loaf of swaz and pepper, tea loaf and rota pepper. The seasoning takes a little dip in the crevices. Gonna, huh, she's huh, gonna huh, put huh. the cloves into the hole. Something about that is making me like a little like... That's bothering you? Yeah, a little bit. Makes me feel like a civil war doctor. <laughs> just put a little garlic in there. It'll cure the gangrene. It'll cure the bullet hole in your head. Yeah. <laughs> she's flexed on us with that. With the foil roll. Well, Psycho. We can do it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it too. We'll I mean, do it too. Yeah, we, we get it. Yeah, we get yeah, it. You don't want to wrap the belly. You don't want to wrap the belly. I'm not a huge fan of doing this. I would just not wrap it in foil, to be honest with you. She grated some apple, but she let it sit a little long and got pretty okay. brown. Well, apple, soy sauce. We're taking an interesting turn that I'm kind of here for. Tomato paste. Okay, this is interesting. This is what I like about this series is I, I do things I would never actually try or even think to try. Then we're throwing in a bunch of spices into this mix, giving it a stir. All right, this is kind of like a strange apple barbecue sauce. I like the flavors, but I'm not sure how I feel about the grated apple. I would almost just use like apple juice or something, but like a really savory apple sauce. Okay, then we're taking it out after a few hours, putting it on another tray, brushing it with our little That's, apple puree. It's kind of sick. It's kind of sick, it's kind of sick. It's kind of sick. I like this little glazy thing going on. I like how that apple sort of broke down. I was really hoping it wouldn't be chunky. Oh, and yeah, nice. Flip. Glaze roast it, it, roast it, phase it. I said roast. Roast? Yeah, that's when you roast something with your bro. That's... A good roast off. Yeah, bro. A good bro Sunday. <laughs> Sunday roast. A Sunday roast. That's where you eat pig with your hat on backwards. <laughs> oh, so she put foil again and then roasted it again. That's interesting. I thought she was trying to kind of glaze that on. Double roast keys. All right, it looks good, but is it worth all those views? Let's go cook this thing and find out. Here's my big old hunk of pork belly. Again, I didn't have the skin on but it's all right we're gonna go ahead and do some pretty deep scores just like she did or he did if you want to show your face i don't know i can't tell by hands i'm going pretty deep with these uh scores don't matter it don't matter combining all the spices here salt pepper red pepper which i think they just meant cayenne that's what i'm using smoked paprika 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 and garlic granules i'll give this the old finger mix i'll start sprinkling it on <coughs> they got to me <coughs> in the lungs oh that looks good i'm gonna save most of it though for this side to get it in all those cracks and crevices all those cracks and crevices oh boy something fierce in that pepper there boy what if i just sounded like that <laughs> what is it <coughs> <laughs> foghorn leghorn. You know foghorn leghorn? Chicken? No, he's like a... a rooster. <laughs> rooster. He's a human being. He's a cartoon. Pretty sure foghorn leghorn's <laughs> a big cartoon rooster. No. No, he's like... Now, 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 I do say... Is that... Look up foghorn leghorn. Uh, oh, God. Something got something fierce in that, in that, in that spices. Oh, sh**. Yeah, I was wrong. Yo, it's kind of creepy. Yes, All right, here we go. I have made the holes. Slide it on in. Ooh. Ooh, that does feel strange, my friends. Oh, it feels like I'm doing something wrong, you know? I'm just working my way around here and just, just popping them in. My only worry with that garlic is it's not gonna cook all the way, so I really hope it does. Probably will, given the time that this pork is gonna cook, right? Now, before we get this pork into the oven, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Curiosity Stream. Curiosity Stream offers award-winning and original documentary films, and they have shows and series that you just can't find anywhere else. With a deep library of content spanning science, nature, history, technology, music, food, and much, much more, Curiosity Stream truly has something for everyone. And they have new content dropping every single week, so there is always something fun to watch. I personally just finished a documentary all about the construction of shipping containers 
years and it was fascinating and mind-blowing. With plans starting at under $5 a month, you can gain access to thousands and thousands of hours of high-quality documentaries and series. And with both monthly and annual plans available, you can really choose the plan that works best for you and your budget. You can go to curiositystream.com slash dudecancook or scan the QR code for unlimited access to the world's top documentaries and non-fiction series. And for our fans, use promo code dudecancook and you will save 25% off your annual subscription. So click the link below or go to curiositystream.com slash dudecancook and save 25% right now. Now let's go finish this pork belly. Two can play at this game, Lekara. Yeah. <laughs> It's not as straight a tear, but they had a smaller piece, okay? Pork belly down. All right, let's give this a nice little wrap. Oh yeah. She said she wants two layers. I don't think I really need two layers. Although, we always recreate this recipe. We do them right. We do them right because that's what we, what, that's what we would, that's then, then what we would have wanted done upon us is, is the rule of gold. That's what we, what, that's what we would, that's then, then what we would have wanted done upon us is, is the rule of gold. I'm gonna wrap this one like a burrito. That is. Primo. Now she says to bake this for two hours at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 355, 356 Fahrenheit. And seeing as how my pork is thinner than hers, I probably could go a little bit less time, but I wouldn't mind if it's a little more cooked, so I'm gonna stick to the two hours. While that pork belly cooks, we're gonna make this sort of apple barbecue sauce thing, whatever it is. So I'm gonna start by peeling one apple. Just gonna do what they did. Choppy choppy, move the core. Now I'm just gonna grate it up. Looks like they used the finer setting on a box grater. So we'll just use that. Get our apple into a pan. We're gonna add six tablespoons of soy sauce. Never actually combined apple and soy sauce in my life, so it's definitely sparked my curiosity. I'm interested to see how this is gonna turn out. I like sweet and salty, so I could see it being good. And then I think there's lemon coming next, right? So sweet, salty, and a little sour. That sounds good. Tomato paste, I guess, before the lemon. A few tablespoons of that. In with the lemon juice, tablespoon of sugar, teaspoon of dried garlic, teaspoon of paprika, and a third teaspoon of cinnamon, just a little touch. All right, there we go. Just got the heat on medium here, and I'm gonna cook this, I think they just said for about five minutes. This is really interesting. I freaking love this pan handle. It feels really good. There we go, I just simmered it for five minutes, and it should be done now. Almost looks like a kind of chunky barbecue sauce. Obviously, it's mostly soy. Let's give this a try it right on its own. Mm, on its own, it's just okay. It's not bad, it's just really on that salty end with all that soy sauce. But I can see how when this is glazed on the meat, it could be a different story. All right, here's our pork. After two hours, it went like two hours and 10. We did it a little bit longer. Let's unwrap our present. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna move it over to another tray with the rack. Just a slippery bugger. There we go. Now, just out of curiosity, let's give a temp on this thing, huh? Poke it in the thickest part right there. Oh, ours is gonna be melty, Marcus. It's at 196 right now, so that's kind of perfect. Hers was definitely a little bit less done. It depends how you like your pork. Obviously, my piece wasn't as thick. I'm happy with that 200 to 205 range. Personally, I like that texture. And here we go. We're gonna go ahead and Slop it up. I'm gonna save most for the other side because I think that's our service side. You can see the garlic coming out. Oh, look, that one wanted to be tasted. I'm gonna try that garlic. I wanna see if it's done. This is exciting. And after this channel's last spaghetti meat thing that I just, well, you know, I hated it so much. I think they could actually redeem themselves with this one. Let me taste the garlic. No, it's not raw, but it could cook a little more. Here we go. I'm gonna use their fork technique. Yeah. Now, put the rest of our sauce here. Look at that, slop it up, you guys. This stuff is pretty salty, so remember to just everybody hydrate, you know, water up. Water up! really spread this on nice and glazy. I'm gonna try to get it along the sides here too. And back in the oven, they said 220C, which is 430 degrees Fahrenheit for another 15, 20 minutes, I think they said, just to glaze it up. There we go, time has elapsed. It's funny that the title of this video was, I don't cook, I don't cook, because we did cook. We did cook in order to make this. We cook, we cook. All we gotta do now, cover it with the foil, and we're gonna let it rest 
for 15 minutes as they said, although I would think to rest it even longer than that to be honest with you. All right, here we go, let's slice it. I did rest it for another 15 minutes. It just felt like the right thing to do to me. Oh my gosh, pop that off. Let's slice in and have a look. Oh, Ooh. wow, that looks really good. All right, Marcus, let's try this stuff, right? Well, you have a piece of garlic in yours, huh? Look at that. Oh, man. All right, my friends, look at this. Kind of shreds apart pretty easy. bad at all. Yeah, this is great. I think they redeemed themselves. The strong flavor, the soy applesauce on top, cuts the fat really well. Mm -hmm. It's great. That's solid. That's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Tad bit salty for my taste. There's a lot of soy sauce in that glaze. If it were up to me, I would balance that out a little more with some more sweetness. Honestly, a whole bunch of just ketchup in there instead of tomato paste, I think could be really good because of that added sweetness and acidity. The garlic actually cooked all the way at the end. It didn't have that raw garlic tinge, so that was nice. So the technique for cooking the pork is well. I think just the sauce could use a little bit of work. That's all I would really say about it. But anybody who makes this is gonna enjoy it, right? It's good. I'll give it a 7.6. You know, it's not incredible, but it's good. I go 8-1. Water up! Water up! Thanks for watching today, my friend. And if you didn't know, I just released an ebook with 55 of my favorite recipes over the last four years. I'm super proud of it, and it's amazing to see all the buys from pretty much every single country across this planet. It's wild everywhere except Antarctica, which I'm kind of pissed about. Come on, Antarctica. Someone from a base down there? Like, just buy one already. We also have some pretty sweet merch available for purchase. And if you want to keep learning today, here are two more pork recipes from my own channel that I think you're really going to love. Until next time, you know I love you in a minute.